Well, it's been a less than ideal start for global share markets in 2016. One of the big things we've seen, which happens uh, often when there's a bit of panic around when share markets start to fall, is that people see the headlines that you know, screen billions of dollars wiped off the share market, you know, headlines such as you should sell everything. And the reaction then is that you know, it prompts people to do exactly that or sell part of what they've got. You know, the, the reality is that every day there are hundreds and hundreds of research articles, uh, stock reports, news updates. You know, people have to fill content to, to write about investment markets. If you know, they've fallen one or two percent, they tend to be negative because it has a real flow on snowball effect that people want to read more. They want to click on the articles that you know, scream the most negative possible news. You know, in situations like this, often for an investor, the best thing you can possibly do is just close your eyes. You know, don't look at your portfolio, don't read the articles. Now, it's easy to think that you know, by reading more uh, articles, by reading more information, that you'll get a better understanding of, of what you should do. But the reality is that you know, it just makes you more confused. There's, there's no way in the world anybody could read you know, a, a collection of articles and come up with a defined strategy around uh, what they should do with their Australian shares or international shares or how they should you know, weight their portfolio. The information is just too conflicting. If you've got a long-term, sound, sensible investment strategy, the best thing to do is ignore this. Now, don't worry that the market's falling. You know, when you look at your portfolio, always have in the back of your mind that in a short space of time, at any point in time, you could see a you know, 10%, 15% increase or a 10 to 15% you know, decrease in the value that it currently is today. You know, whatever that dollar value is at any point in time, don't think that that's how much money you actually have because unless you sell it and put it into cash, you haven't actually realized it. It's just on paper. And the share markets, one of the big features of them and one of the reasons that you do get a better return than cash is that you know, they're volatile. They go up and down. And you've got to accept that that volatility is part and parcel of investing in the market.